I'm excited to introduce the Ivy Alumni Achievement Award. This is a new award, but it celebrates the best of our Ivy alumni. We're looking for individuals that act globally, think strategically, and contribute in the communities in which they live. And this year's recipient, Sikinder Singh Cassidy, embodies all of that. The first thing that struck me about Sikinder was just how passionate and relentless she is. Um, just in life, but uh, especially in business. I first met Sukinder more than 20 years ago when she was interviewing at Jungli. The hiring manager walked into my office full of excitement saying, I have this amazing candidate, I'd love, love you to meet the candidate. So I jump into the interview, talk to Sukinder, and she absolutely blew me away. She can paint a vision and inspire people to share a dream. Um, in a way that's just unparalleled. Sukinder also really leads from the heart. Um, she uh, she cares deeply about this company. She cares deeply about the people. Sukinder believes that power is an infinite resource, which is totally different from the way that most of us think about it. She also believes that the more power you give away, the more you get. And I think she sets the standard for being empathetic uh, in the way we interact with each other, in the way that you know we set our expectations of each other. So aside from her incredible capabilities as an individual, I think it's this ability to really grow power for those around her that's made her so successful. As a woman in the technology industry, I have to say I largely feel like when I got to Silicon Valley, I found my tribe. I will say to people that, you know, of all the places and things that I tried, investment banking before that, I was at News Corp. Uh, briefly, I really landed in a place where my aggressiveness was welcome, where sort of nobody was bounding me by my age or even really the color of my skin. Uh, and I, and it, in many ways, it still felt to me like the most meritocratic place in the world. You know, having someone who's both smart and driven is rare. Having someone who's off the charts in both is just incredibly rare. And I think that's what describes the secret to success. I look back and I think about my undergraduate career and having to raise my hand in the classroom and come up with the answer on my feet uh, with having to think about three or four or five or six different business problems. And like that kind of agility in thinking, that is exactly what technology and sort of Silicon Valley are all about. So it's not really a surprise to me in hindsight that Ivy sort of gave me that training and foundation and the ability to take little risks in the classroom and sort of like exploring 10 ways to solve a problem, and the correlation of that to entrepreneurship and ending up in the technology industry. And I feel incredibly lucky to work with her and to learn from her, uh, and I'm super excited about what the future holds for, for us and for her. To me, a great leader is one who can identify what needs to get done and make it happen. And they do it without compromising on a core set of values that they stand for. So Kinder has all that it takes to be a great leader, and I'm really, really, really proud to have worked with her. Probably the thing I'm most proud of is I look back on my career, and I think I've got to work with some extraordinary people. Uh, and I'm kind of proud of the fact that I've been a part of their journey, and I hope in some small way help to accelerate the journey for a lot of people. So Kinder, in one word, a force.